In this video, we'll talk about the must-have muscle gaining supplements. Yes, you can definitely build muscles without taking supplements, but this will take a much longer period of time to achieve the same results as those who took the right supplements. So ask yourself, do you want to shave off months of unnecessary hard work and get results fast? If your answer is yes, then you should invest in supplements. Without further ado, let's get started. Generally, to build up muscle, it's still better to achieve it through diet and exercise, while supplementation should only be used for additive effects. Nonetheless, it shouldn't be pushed aside, as supplements are still generally used for health and building muscle. Foods are usually insufficient for anyone that's looking to gain muscle in the fastest manner. The best option is to take in the right supplements that your body needs. The top three most used supplements are creatine, vitamin D, and omega-3 supplement from fish oil. You might wonder if omega-3 fatty acids from flax or chia seeds should be considered as well, but the fact is, flax and chia seeds don't provide sufficient supplement on their own. Flax and chia seeds are found in the form of alpha-linoleic acid, which has to be converted by the body into usable form, and the ratio conversion is rather poor. Number 1. Creatine Creatine is a molecule produced in the body where it stores high-energy phosphate groups in the form of phosphocreatine, or creatine phosphate. Creatine supplementation confers a variety of health risks, notably neuroprotective and cardioprotective. It's usually used by athletes to increase both power output and lean mass. There are various types of creatine, and creatine monohydrate is the most affordable and most effective. It dissolves in water more easily and is best to be taken 5 grams a day daily while consuming it like any other vitamin. Higher doses up to 10 grams a day may be prudent for those with a high amount of muscle mass and high activity levels. Stomach cramping can occur when creatine is supplemented without sufficient water. Diarrhea and nausea can occur when too much creatine is supplemented at once, in which case doses should be spread out over the day and taken with meals. Number 2. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble nutrient and it is one of the 24 micronutrients critical for human survival. The sun is the major natural source of the nutrient, but vitamin D is also found naturally in fish and eggs while it is also present in dairy products. Supplemental vitamin D is associated with a wide range of benefits, including increased cognition, immune health, bone health and well-being, while reducing the risk of cancer, heart disease, diabetes, and multiple sclerosis. People deficient in vitamin D may also experience increased testosterone levels after supplementation, which can be remedied where the body produces vitamin D from cholesterol, provided there is an adequate amount of UV light from sun exposure. Most people are not deficient in vitamin D, but they don't have an optimal level of vitamin D either. Due to the many health benefits of vitamin D, supplementation is encouraged if optimal levels are not present in the body. The recommended daily allowance for vitamin D is currently set at 400 to 800 international units a day, but this is too low for adults. The safe upper limit in the United States and Canada is 4,000 IU a day, but research suggests that the true safe upper limit is 10,000 IU a day. As vitamin D is fat soluble, it has to be taken with a fatty acid that can serve as a transport and it should be taken daily with meals or a source of fat like fish oil. It's best to be taken earlier in the day as it may disrupt sleep pattern if taken later in the evening. Before we proceed to the third top supplement, let me share with you some supplement facts of vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiency is relatively common in athletes and is associated with muscle weakness and atrophy, specifically type 2 muscle fiber atrophy. Skipping out on this vitamin is just as bad as skipping out on leg day. Number 3. Omega-3 Fish Oil Fish oil is a common term used to refer to two kinds of omega-3 fatty acids, eicosapentaenoic acid and docosahexaenoic acid, and they're usually found in fish, animal products, as well as phytoplankton. Fish oil is recommended as a source of these omega-3 fats, as it's the cheapest and most common source of them. Fish oil provides a variety of benefits when supplemented, particularly when the ratio of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids in the body is almost equal, or 1 to 1. Did you know that the average diet, red meat, eggs, and so forth, is high in omega-6 fatty acids, which is why fish oil is recommended to balance the ratio? A ratio of roughly 1 to 1 is associated with healthier blood vessels, a lower lipid count, and a reduced risk for plaque buildup. Moreover, fish oil can decrease the risk of diabetes and several forms of cancer, including breast cancer. Fish oil works primarily through eicosanoids, which are signaling molecules, and a proper ratio of omega-3 to 6 fatty acids will influence which eicosanoids are released in response to stress. 
It should be noted that fish oil can also reduce triglycerides in people with high triglyceride levels. However, it can also increase cholesterol, so care should be taken before supplementing fish oil for this purpose. Fish oil doses vary depending on the goal of supplementation. As for general health, 250 mg of combined EPA and DHA is the minimum dose and can be obtained via fish intake. Supplement Facts Fish oil can reduce blood clotting and should be supplemented with caution if blood thinning medications, aspirin, warfarin, or clopidogrel are already present in the body. Next, we'll talk about lists of foods and supplements to avoid. When it comes to determining what food you should and should not eat, the only significant point is that calories matter more than specific foods. Adequate macro and micronutrition are an essential part of a healthy diet and, nonetheless, proper caloric intake is the most important rule regardless of the source and whether or not the food is natural, whole, clean, or dirty. Preparation is the key to eating healthy. It may sound tricky and complex to prepare. Don't overthink it. Instead, choose food that you enjoy eating and make a balanced meal. Various nutrition studies have indicated that having excess body fat, type 2 diabetes, and increase in weight are resultant from consuming and storing excess calories than one burns. Eating too much of any type of calories, whether from whole food or not, will cause these problems. Generally, the food that you really need to avoid when bulking is junk food and sugary food. Sugars are the main factor that you really need to look out for, as they're present in foods particularly that aren't fresh, frozen, or dried. Additionally, sauces such as pasta sauce, ketchup, and chili sauce contain sugar as well. You should also avoid fruit juices and fizzy drinks. There's various sugar content that you need to look out for as well, and this list below is generally what you need to keep an eye out for. Muscle development supplements, including testosterone booster and protein supplements, are compounds that act to enhance muscle protein synthesis or otherwise enhance muscle mass. There are various supplements that would improve muscle growth, but only a handful of them are actually scientifically proven to work if consumed in the recommended method. Supplements that do not offer any muscle growth are considered placebo pills and powders, which is merely an implication to your mind that it affects your body. These supplements only give you the psychological benefit, and if you believe it works, than any physiological effect. So save yourself from investing in pills and powders that don't work, and invest in those that are proven to promote muscle growth. Taking testosterone boosters is a choice. However, it's always a good idea to cycle testosterone boosters, as they do have side effects that could be detrimental to your health if taken excessively, and it could lead to undesirable side effects that are associated with prolonged use. There could be adverse side effects on the testicles, like atrophy, and it may reduce HPTA stimulation over time if used too much. Compounds that act in the hypothalamus can cause symptoms of what people call adrenal fatigue, where the hypothalamus starts to fatigue. There are three prime examples of compounds that have been scientifically proven that don't affect testosterone levels, which are tribulus terrestris, ZMA, and diaspartic acid. Tribulus terrestris simply doesn't have any factors that would increase testosterone levels, as well as body composition and improving exercise performance. ZMA is a combination of zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6, which is in the same line with tribulus terrestris. People who are deficient from zinc and magnesium would benefit for their overall health, but not for increasing testosterone level. The least ZMA could do is removing micronutrient deficiency that is suppressing testosterone production. D-aspartic acid could increase testosterone levels, but the effects are short-lived and temporary. To put it in one word, it's unreliable. There are various scientific studies that have been conducted to determine if increasing testosterone levels could help with boosting muscle gains. The results pretty much show that no matter how high you increase your testosterone levels, it wouldn't help boost muscle building compared to consuming proper diet meals and viable supplements. Consumed for the purpose of increasing dietary protein when food is not taken, it's typically seen as a food product or a meal replacement. Protein powders come from various sources such as milk, beef, rice, peas, or hemp. Typically used in conjunction with a proper diet to increase dietary protein intake, some specific types of protein are made for certain scenarios, such as casein protein for a slow-release protein and whey protein for a faster release. Unfortunately, protein supplements don't directly help you accelerate muscle gain, but consuming enough protein could work. Compared to consuming protein from food, protein supplements are convenient for easy snacking and most of the protein supplements are low in carbs as well as fat, which is good for a proper meal plan. Moreover, they're affordable in terms of price per gram of protein. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz.
Content produced and distributed by All Super Info.